Like the video or... Hey, where's Hilda? Too lazy to show up. Cyril said he could take her place? No, no, that's quite all right. No, no, just keep him there. Just keep him there in his cage. No, no. <sighs> Part 1. White Clouds. Guardian Moon. Dividing the World. Today's map is short and sweet. Emphasis on short. Even with this being a route map, turn counts average out at around 5 or 6 turns, which is pretty quick. But that's not a problem, as the map once again chooses to front load all of its difficulty. Not too different than a lot of the previous maps, but just like the death toll paralog, the difficulty is so high that it'll drive you crazy and make you want to rip out your teeth. And I love it. A lot of that difficulty extends from trying to rescue all of these green dumbasses. They are so far away that it takes about two turns worth of normal movement to get your units to their location to help them. And they are so weak versus enemies so strong that when you do get there, there's nothing left to save. These Wyver units are especially deadly. Being able to one round the green armored knights and auto targeting them makes sure you use all of your resources to move as quickly as humanly possible. The difficulty is also jacked up by dividing your units into unequal parts. The right side that contains most of the green units and some of the biggest threats leaves you with only three units and this little brown shit stain. I should have never recruited you. So many units come funneling in on the right side that you have to throw your units in the middle of harm's way and sort of manipulate the RNG to get your units to survive, which can get a little tedious. Even without trying to rescue the green units, there is still a decent challenge in the left half. There's just so much coming at you. We have demonic birds tag teaming with a dozen hard hitting axe units, along with a couple gambit riding horsemen. Having to divert some of your strongest units to the right side can make this section a nightmare to get through, barely surviving each turn by the skin of your teeth. It's nice. It's wonderful. This isn't what I would call the standard of Fire Emblem map making. A majority of the level is dense forests and bridges, and you hardly make use or come in contact with most of it. But. I spent a lot of time routing out this map with plenty of resets, and I enjoyed almost every minute of it. It's become one of my personal favorites in the game so far, and I think it deserves a solid 9 out of 10.